Hey everyone, CNC Keith here. Hey, I've gotten a few questions about the 4.08 Acorn CNC 12 upgrade from a number of users. And after the upgrade, um, their tool library gets reset to the default tool library. And right now, that's what happens when you upgrade to the latest version of Acorn CNC software, is that it will put a default tool library in there. And so effectively, you've lost your tool library. So if you have a lot of time and energy in setting up a whole bunch of tools in your tool library, that kind of sucks that you have a default library and you got to go reset all that stuff. Well, uh, in the update video that I made, um, I asked you all to create a copy of your existing CNCM directory of your existing installation before you do the update. And there's a good reason why I asked you to do that copy because your tool library information is actually in that directory. So to get your old tool library into the new version of software so you don't have to reset all those tools and re-enter in all that information, I'm going to show you how to do that here in this video. Let's check it out. You, you can see right now um, I am on version 4.08 and I had upgraded from 406, and if I go into the tool library, into the offset library, you can see everything's set to zeros for the height and diameter offsets. And if I go into the tool library itself, all there's no description, no spindle speed, uh, no coolant or spindle direction selected. So it's all just the default tool library. Well, if I put a bunch of work and effort into my tool library, it sure would be nice to copy that information over here. Let's check out how to do it. What I'm going to do is shut down CNC 12 and I'm going to navigate to Windows File Explorer and go to the C drive and you're going to see in my C drive I have two CNCM folders. I've got the, the CNCM folder. That's the update. That is the version 408 that we were just running. That's your latest, whatever you're running, CNC 12, it's the CNC M directory is what it's called. Well, before we made that update in the update video, I asked you all to make a copy of your existing CNC M directory. And mine's called CNC M uh, space 406. So if I open that up, all I've got to do is find these two files, cncm.ol, which stands for offset library and cncm.tl, which stands for Tool Library. So I'm going to highlight them both, right-click, copy, go back to the C drive, open up the current cncm directory, right-click, and paste. Windows asks me, do you want to replace these? And I'm going to say yes, I want to replace those. Now, when I start cnc12, I have simply copied over my existing tool libraries from my old installation to the current version that I'm running. And whenever you uh, exit out of the CNC 12 software and come back into it, you get this message, software exited, cycle e-stop or reset to continue. I'm going to click the reset button and clear it two times. Now let's go over the setup tool and then offset library. And look at that. Lo and behold, there's a bunch of height offset and diameter information in my tool library. That's the information that was in my original 406 installation. Let's go look at the actual tool library itself. Sure enough, there are my tool numbers, height offset, and diameter numbers, along with whether CNC12 is going to automatically turn on the coolant, which way to turn the spindle, what speed to turn the spindle. And this is a nice description that shows up on the screen during a tool change to prompt the operator uh, to remind him exactly what tool he should be grabbing. So that's all there is to it, to copying over your old tool library information to the new one. On future updates, it will do that automatically, but right now we have to manually copy that over. Talk to you soon.